everybody, my name is Carter Kozlowski, and we are going to give you full coverage of the first ever Dasani Truck Series race at the Daytona International Speedway for the first annual running of the 16-lap dash free-for-all to the finish, the Dasani 300. On the pole is the number two, Tide Chevrolet of Joshua Balkin, and starting alongside him in the 98 is Jackson Emery. Starting third in the 13, inside row two is Jordan Apolito, and fourth is a champion in the Bass Pro Shops Cup Series, Jeffrey Fingy. And rounding out your top five, the favorite to win this race. He was quickest in both practice sessions, and he has had a very strong race truck all of speed weeks. That is J.J. Hamilton. So 16 laps of racing at the two-and-a-half-mile D-shaped super speedway. We are about to go racing. Here's the command to fire the engines on the inaugural running of the Dasani 300. Drivers, stop your engines! trucks roll through turns one and two we're going to show you all the trucks and uh, who's going to drive them this season and that's not the way we wanted to start our season what just happened there eddie joes and kyle smith have a run in coming out of the pit lane and smith is going to have to get the toe to the pit lane and he might not even be able to start this race. So Eddie Jones is in the three anyways. Kyle Smith will be driving the four. Cade McMillan in the 27. David Rochester in the seven. Luke Walker in the 32. Connor Breton in the 30. Sam Brady in the 36. Alex Jones in the one. Sky Commons in the 33. Anthony Emery in the 31. Also in the 64. That was Hayden Klein. Richie Streeter in the 21. Zachary Robinson in the 56. Caleb Wiggs in the 17. The 29 truck. Jacob Hayes in the 73, Richard Johnson in the 5, Maxwell Vady in the 11, John Andrews in the 09, Luke Martin in the 18, Cole Fralick in the 9, uh, ja uh, um, Jackson Phillips, Pichu London, Tyler Everest, uh, Brandon Bain, Jordan Balkin, Brad Smith, Ryan Acosta, J.J. Hamilton, Jeffrey Fingy, Jordan Apolito, Jackson Emery, and the pole sitter Joshua Balkin is going to get us going. The Dasani 300 is green. We apologize we weren't able to tell you every driver's name uh, due to the... Uh oh, we already got a spin in the back. That's Aaron Mason in the 88. Off through the grass. Spins back up without any contact from anybody else, and we do not have a caution for that, but now more contact coming out of turn two. Luke Martin in front of the entire pack. That will definitely bring out a caution, as that is a huge stack up. But now coming to the inside is J.J. Hamilton, the favorite to win this race. Jumps to the inside of the racetrack, trying to get underneath Jordan Apolito to lead the first lap of the Dasani Truck Series. As they come through the tri-oval, he will do that. J.J. Hamilton leads lap one at Daytona. But carnage. Zachary Robinson is on pit lane. Hayden Klein is torn up. Caleb Wiggs, Dylan White, Luke Walker, Luke Martin, Jackson Phillips in the 59. David Rochester is torn up in the seven. Cade McMillan, Alex Jones, Aaron Mason was the uh, first car to go around. He wasn't uh, any factor in the big crash, though. Anthony Emery in the 31, Richie Streeter in the 21, Sky Commons in the 33, Kyle Smith is still on pit lane, Charles Jackson was also involved, so incredible uh, destruction to start off the Dasani Truck Series, let's uh, break it down for you and see what happened. What I first want to show you is this with Aaron Mason, looks like uh, Charles Jackson just gets up behind the 88. And some drivers started uh, getting a bit too aggressive as they uh, 
the dr the adrenaline may have gotten to them just a bit too quickly to kick off this race and there goes Aaron Mason off through the infield grass luckily he was able to keep it off all the walls and uh, I think the 88 truck might just be okay so now let's see what happened on the exit of turn number two and uh, we're probably gonna have to get a few replays of that crash for you to see what happened alright well this is how it all started so the 59 of Jackson Phillips is going to hook Tyler Everest on the outside and then they're gonna spin down into Luke Martin so there's the contact watch the bright yellow car on the inside that will be Luke Martin when this all happens the 11 hits the 59 then there's contact in front of them so they're four wide and uh, Caleb Wiggs is on the apron and then more contact more contact eventually Tyler Everest spins down hits Luke Martin and around he goes in front of the whole field. Actually, I don't think Luke really uh, got much damage in this. It looks like the 59 truck of Jackson Phillips was the driver that uh, really everybody piled into. Then right there, Luke starts getting run into. And then that is where that entire outside line gets blocked. And actually on his lid went Charles Jackson. He flipped right over the 21 truck. Wow, a hard hit. There's Eddie Jones. Remember, he's the driver that ran into the back of Kyle Smith at the start of the race. So let's uh, let's get a few more views of this. All right, well, Maxwell Vady hits the 59 of Jackson Phillips onto the apron. We already saw this a few times. And this isn't going to offer the greatest view until right here. All right. There was Brandon Bain making contact with Pichu London. But yeah, here's Jackson Phillips. Spins back up. Gets T-boned by John Andrews, but John actually got away with minimal damage. And then this is where everybody else starts piling into the 59 truck. First one to hit him was the 17, Caleb Wiggs. And then Caleb gets hit, and look at the debris flying up in the air. That looked like the front end of, uh, yeah, that was the front end of uh, Sky Commons number 33 Ream Chevrolet also Alex Jones in the number one truck is in it but that big stack up up at the top of the racetrack that is where uh, a lot of the carnage broke out and that was where Zachary Robinson w or sorry Charles Jackson went over on his lid <laughs> streeter and uh, eventually over on his lid and that's where the camera dies out on the top of that truck so barrels through the grass we are going to get you back all right we're going to give you a rundown of the field for this restart we're going to get you back racing on lap number six out of 16 11 laps to go jj hamilton is the leader second will be jordan apolito third jackson emery fourth will be joshua balkin uh, fifth, Jeffrey Finney. Sixth, Jordan Vulcan. Seventh, Ryan Acosta. And eighth, Brad Smith. Ninth, Nicole Franklin. Eleventh, Brandon Bain. Twelfth, Tyler Evers. Thirteenth, Pichu London. Fourteenth, Maxwell Vady. Uh, Fifteenth, Ruby Garrett Jones. Sixteenth, Jacob Stump. Seventeenth, uh, Jacob Hayes. Eighteenth, Leo Walker. Nineteenth, Austin Ogo. Twentieth, uh, Eric Lopez. Twenty-first, Connor Reed. Twenty-second, Luke Martin. Twenty-third, Jackson. of the racetrack that are lapped down. Kyle Smith after getting uh, run over coming off a pit lane with Eddie Jones and uh, just behind him in the 88 is Aaron Mason after going through a spin uh, pretty much right in the same area that Kyle Smith did on the f uh, actually just on the pace lap is when Kyle Smith went for that uh, spin. Got stuck on the apron and uh, got stuck on the bank I should say. And, uh, that's what caused the four car to get the toe to the pits and ended up going a lap down because of it. The pace truck lights are off. And we're going to get you back racing. Four sport racing performing very well here with the, uh, here proving very strong here within these first few laps. Um, 
you got the 13 of Jordan Polito, the 98 of Jackson Emery, but then on, uh, on the other side of it, Aaron Mason in the 88 is a lap down. Pace Truck will peel off onto pit lane, and J.J. Hamilton, the favorite to win this race, is going to get us back racing. Here we go, green flag in the air. We're underway once again, 11 laps of racing to go. Look at Aaron Mason making it three wide. Two lap trucks and the leader, J.J. Hamilton, stuck on the high side of the three wide situation, rocking the restart. There's contact behind, look out boys, Jordan Apolito is sideways. Contact down into Joshua Balkin, now Ryan Acosta in the 84 comes up onto the racetrack. This is a recipe for disaster back here. But look at Aaron Mason, the lapped car, being pushed by Joshua Balkin on the inside of the racetrack. And they're making it work, but Kyle Smith and Ryan Acosta get pinned into the outside wall, and now a big crash coming out of turn number four. Everest was in. J.J. Hamilton wins the race back to the start finish line, but right off of the restart, we have more trouble. Brad Smith, Jacob Stump, Jacob Hayes, Cole Freilich is there, Leo Walker. Oh, and now Brandon Bain and Cole Freilich. Under caution not to happen with each other, and Leo Walker steps in to break that one up. Oh, my goodness. Absolute carnage. Jackson Emery, Eric Lopez. Austin Ogo and Pichu London are all involved in this crash. Let's get a replay of what happened to bring out the second caution of the Dasani 300. All right, here it is. Looks like Ryan Acosta on the inside of the racetrack is going to get a big push in the center of the corner and then gets pushed up the racetrack into Kyle Smith and Jeffrey Fingy, and they all hit the outside wall. And then comes down the racetrack is the five of Richard Johnson down into the nine. And oh my goodness, Tyler Everest with a hard impact. And Ryan Acosta nearly flipped over. Also, Richard Johnson was over on his side, not on his lid, though. Maxwell Vady spinning off the uh, through the infield. Jackson Emery trying to uh, maneuver his way through the carnage after he was part of it. Connor Breeden, Luke Martin, Maxwell, we just pointed him out. He's in the grass now. Oh, then after that, Jacob Stumpf ran into the five. Brad Smith is there too. All right, we're just going to get one other look at this. There's Ryan Acosta getting pushed up. All right, and now watch the 22 on the bottom. He is just about to get through it. That's Tyler Travis, or Tyler Everest, sorry. He's on the bottom and then gets hooked. And that's a 167 mile an hour impact into the outside retaining wall. And then he comes back across into Maxwell Vady, and then that's where those guys all go around. Jeffrey Finguy, or Jeffrey Fingy, however uh, you want to pronounce it there, pushing Kyle Smith. But Tyler Everest, Maxwell Vady, Connor Breton, Leo Walker, and uh, many other trucks involved in this caution and I didn't uh, point out John Andrews he was around in the Zaxby's Ford Fusion so we're gonna get you back racing second caution of the race let's see if we can get some green flag laps in if we see another caution I don't know how many uh, trucks left we're even gonna have I don't know if we have enough trucks to form another caution in this race just 12 drivers on the lead lap when we get the restart we got JJ Hamilton out front second Aaron Mason I'm oh, sorry no he is a lap down Third, or second, Joshua Balkin. Third, Jordan Balkin. Fourth, Jordan Apolito. Fifth, Garrett Jones. Kyle Smith is a lap down in 20th. Jeffrey Fingy is sixth. Austin Ogo is seventh. Eric Lopez is eighth. Cole Freilich, ninth. Leah Walker, tenth. Eleventh, John Andrews. And twelfth is Maxwell Beatty. So 12 trucks on the lead lap. I believe we'll have 15 trucks restarting this race. And, uh... One of the questions has got to be, are the two Balkan boys going to work together? Joshua Balkan and Jordan Balkan in the 2 and 47. Also, will the lap truck of Aaron Mason help out his teammate Jordan Apolito to victory lane, or will Garrett Jones come in and spoil the party with drafting assistance from Kyle Smith? Can a, cha can a champion in the Bass Pro Shops Cup Series get this done in the trucks? All those questions will be answered when we get the green flag in six laps. 
JJ Hamilton. He said it in the pre-race show. He is the favorite. He's quickest in both practice sessions. And he was lightning quick all through speed weeks. And he also qualified in the fifth position. Coming out of turn number four, the pace truck lights are off and will peel off onto the pit lane. Turning the field over into the hands of J.J. Hamilton and Aaron Mason. Aaron, a lap down, like we mentioned. Will he be able to hang with the pack like he did last time? Here we go through the tri-oval. Green flag is out and we're underway with just six laps of racing to go. Garrett Jones, the first one to jump out and make a move. Now Jordan Balkan goes down low with Jeffrey Findy. Heading down into turn one. Double file at the most. They've realized three wide won't work when they're drafting as close as they have been. Up the outside line, Austin Ogo is out there. As they come down the back stretch, they all file in single file. But man, Aaron Mason, I'm telling you, he is able to hang with these leaders and not hold them up. Speaking of holding them up, though, Kyle Smith is really getting this... Uh, Pack in the back pretty angry because they're not able to maneuver their way around the number four Monster Energy drink, Chevy Silverado, Chevy Leif, Kyle Smith. They remain single file. J.J. Hamilton has led every lap in this race, but uh, I would expect that to change by the end of the day. Because you know that these guys aren't going to just hand this one over. They're not going to lay over. Because especially, this is the inaugural running of the, NNA, the NAARC Nissan Truck Series. Everybody wants to win the inaugural race. But man, those three trucks are running so close, and you gotta wonder if their uh, fuel mo or their fuel pressure uh, is gonna go up. You know, it's gotta be, but apparently they're not looking at the gauges now because at Daytona, it doesn't matter when you are uh, running hot with just four laps to go. You just gotta go for it. That's exactly what these guys are doing, but they're allowing J.J. Hamilton to stay in front of Aaron Mason. Jordan Balkin, Garrett Jones are there. Joshua Balkin and Jordan Polito are lurking if these leaders have a run-in with each other. Aaron Mason has got to get out of the way and let these three leaders fight it out for the win because I think Aaron Mason is starting to die away on him. He's starting to hold up these guys behind. Garrett Jones was running hot. He had to get a little bit of room between he and Jordan Balkin. Through the tri-oval, just three laps to go. Nobody's trying to get around Aaron Mason. Garrett Jones might be losing this lead draft. He's still right there with them, but he's not in that tandem draft like he was to be to hang in there and have a shot at winning this race. Joshua Balkan still remains in the fourth position. Fifth, Jordan Napolito, then a big pack back here with Austin Ogo, Leo Walker, Kyle Smith, John Andrews, Jeffrey Finke, Cole Freilich, and Eric Lopez, and Matt Lady all by himself deep in the field. Now they're going to move maneuver their way around Aaron Mason. Second and third place are going to hook up and find their way to the front. Because now it's two laps to go. They've got to go now. Jordan Balkan and Garrett Jones get around the lap truck. Aaron Mason, Joshua Balkan, and Jordan Apolator trying to get there late in the going. I don't think they have the time to get there. Now Aaron Mason might try to hook up with Garrett Jones and Jordan Balkan. J.J. Hamilton has led every lap in this race, and he's got to lead just uh, one and a half more laps to go to victory lane in the inaugural running of the Dasani 300. Aaron Mason trying to get it underneath Jordan Balkan. He's a lap down. I don't know why he's trying to pass him. He should draft with him like he's doing right now. Coming to the white flag, coming out of turn number four. J.J. Hamilton has the lead. Jordan Balkan wants to win this race. Meantime, Garrett Jones is slipping back. Last lap in the inaugural running of the Dasani 300. J.J. Hamilton could very well be a sitting duck when they come through turns three and four, but now Jordan Balkan gets moved out of the way. Garrett Jones is now going to hook up with Aaron Mason, but now he's going to have to maneuver around Aaron Mason, the lap truck, and J.J. Hamilton with no drafting assistance. Here comes Joshua Balkan and Jordan Apolito. 
JJ Hamilton has pulled his lead by three, even four truck links as they come through the final corner. Now the three wide for third contact being made all behind the leader. JJ Hamilton came into this race the favorite to win it, and he's gonna pull through. As they come through the tri-oval, JJ Hamilton wins the Dasani 300 to kick off the first ever Dasani Truck Series race. There was a close call in turns three and four between Aaron Jones, Jordan Polito, Joshua Belkin, and Jordan Belkin, but they all hung on to their race trucks and were able to make it through the final corners without wrecking. An incredible finish, but JJ Hamilton goes wire to wire and wins the race that we all expected him to win. Let's get a look at your finishing results. Hamilton wins it. Garrett Jones finishes in second. Third, Jordan Bel or Jordan Polito. Fourth was Joshua Vulcan. Sixth, Austin Ogo. Seventh, Leo Walker. Eighth, John Andrews. Ninth was Cole Freilich. And tenth was Eric Lopez. Actually, now the uh, finishing results are official, but I don't think anything changed from when we... Uh, just told you where everybody finished. Uh, Jeffrey Fingy 11th and Maxwell Vady rounds out your top 12. Those were the only cars to finish this race on the lead lap, even though Maxwell Vady was pretty close to going a lap down. Uh, about half the straightaway, I believe, is uh, how much longer. That would have been uh, about two more laps. That could have been some serious problems. Aaron Mason and Kyle, F uh, Kyle Smith finished the race, but they were two laps down each. Cade McMillan, David, uh, David Rochester, Alex Jones, Hayden Klein, Luke Walker, all deep in the field after having uh, issues of their own here in this race. Well, we hope you enjoyed the inaugural running of the Dasani 300 to kick off the Dasani Truck Series. I know I sure enjoyed it, and J.J. Hamilton probably enjoyed it more than anybody because he's going to be in victory lane in Daytona. So congratulations to the number 80 Best Buy team, and we will see you for race two of the Dasani Truck Series at Phoenix.